The world is waking up to the fact that Russia, China, and the rest of the BRICS nations are dramatically reordering the world. We're already seeing it. The Energy Alliance is already starting to squeeze out these other Western countries. Do you live in one of these countries? Are you already experiencing this? Let me know in the comments below like what you're paying right now for natural gas. What are you paying for electricity? What are you paying for petrol or gasoline wherever you live in the world? I'm going to show you some of the new data that just came out that had my jaw hitting the floor. I seriously couldn't believe it. The new data shows that Russia and China have literally cornered the energy market and the United States and Europe are in deep trouble. I'm gonna show you that data in a moment. Now, on top of that, we just got brand new separate data on energy cost numbers from the United States government, and it's not good. And the devil is in the details. I'm gonna show you these new energy numbers this week in just a moment. But first, do you remember when Biden's energy secretary, Granholm, was asked about the coming energy crisis? We were seeing the spike in natural gas prices. We were seeing the price per kilowatt hour for electricity. We were seeing the soaring gasoline prices. So what are you guys going to do about it? In Sturgis, Michigan, it is $2.89 a gallon. I guess that's better than in California. What is the Granholm plan to increase oil production in America? <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Right. Laugh it up as people suffer. Oh, you can't do anything about it? You can't. You're just the energy secretary? Total garbage. Total garbage. You can do many things. Open up drilling permits. Incentivize exploration. Allow these pipelines to begin. Allow these companies to actually do what they do best. Meanwhile, President Biden continues to lie to the American people about lowering energy costs. Sure, gasoline has come down a small amount but it's still up massively since he became president. Here he is standing there claiming that gasoline was over $5 a gallon when he took office. The most common price of gas in America is $3.39, down from over $5 when I took office. But that's total fiction, of course. Not even terrible CNN can abide that lie. You know it's bad when even CNN calls you out. Russia and China are cornering the world's supply on uranium, along with their allies. The U.S. literally is so reliant on Russian imports to feed 20% of U.S. households that it's quickly becoming a national security issue. But U.S. senators are now saying the only way that this Ukraine war ends is if Putin is removed from power. Here's Senator Angus King this week. Uh, earlier, there is sort of some some questioning of U.S. involvement um, at, at home in, in the Ukraine conflict. How long should we remain there? Well, I, I hate to set a date and say, you know, six months or a year. That's that's telling Putin, you know, all he's got to do is hold his breath until that date comes. So uh, I, I believe we should remain there until uh, Putin is is out. So removing Putin. OK, that's the only way this ends. So our reliance on Russian natural gas, uranium for nuclear power plants, is a national security issue. With one flip of the switch, Putin could shut off all of our power. And we're already seeing major attacks on our energy grid over the past few months. That's gone largely unreported. Why are people attacking our energy grid in the United States and being arrested for it? What is happening? Right now, the U.S. produces zero uranium. Zero. Guess what the total number of Americans in the uranium and nuclear industry is in the United States? Guess. It's only 271 people. Yeah, you heard me right. The United States has only 271 people in this industry. That means there are more people working at your local mall or your local Walmart. This is a massive problem. And Russia and China know it. They know how weak the West is right now, and they're playing us. Meanwhile, we have the new energy cost numbers that just came out this week. Now, the United States is sitting on an energy crisis. Make no mistake about it, no matter what kind of spin comes out of Washington, this is an energy crisis. These are U.S. government numbers, new ones. For electricity costs, we are at our highest cost in years. Even just comparing the cost of electricity from 2021 to now, it's up 16 cents a kilowatt hour. And these are averages. Because in the Northeast, it's over 22 cents a kilowatt hour. Most importantly, natural gas. President Biden stopped natural gas pipelines from being constructed. And we see how devastating this is, particularly in the Northeast. Look how much we've jumped for natural gas in just one year. And we know it's going to be worse next year, according to analysts. Thankfully, so far, we've had a fairly mild winter. But natural gas prices are skyrocketing even with this mild winter right now. Even without all the frigid temperatures. 
But hey, if you can't afford fuel this winter, don't worry. Democrat Sean Maloney has a plan for you. Um, Hudson Valley residents are feeling pain at the pump and at grocery stores. Uh, what have you done and what do you plan to do to help solve uh, our inflation problem? Yeah, well, I grew up in a family where, you know, if the if the gas price went up, the food budget went down. So by this time of the week, we'd be eating Chef Boyardee if, if that budget wasn't going to change, right? So that's what families have to do. So his plan, just eat Chef Boyardee crap food in a can while we send $120 billion to Ukraine. So just shut up and eat your canned food. In fact, the latest omnibus spending bill sends millions of dollars in natural gas incentives to Ukraine. If this gift to Ukraine passes, our total aid to Ukraine will almost equal the entire military budget of Russia. And it's not as if we have that money lying around. We will have to borrow that money from China to send it to Ukraine. Yes, we are spending millions on Ukraine's energy infrastructure. I'm glad your tax dollars are sending money there instead of shoring up our energy supply here at home. Now imagine if the U.S. spent exploration money on finding uranium, getting our nuclear supply self-sufficient. Instead, we get all of our uranium from Russia, and then they charge through the nose for it. Look at what Barron's says about uranium prices, up over 40%. A nuclear uranium expert I interviewed this week said the United States has it completely wrong, and the U.S. is way behind, and that Putin was right a decade ago while Obama was asleep at the wheel. You see, Putin was busy shoring up his nuclear power production so they don't have to outsource any of it to anywhere. It's all done in-house, all inside of Russia. Now, China knows this. Look at these new numbers. This is stunning. I mean, these numbers are absolutely jaw-dropping. These are new numbers out this week, out of China. China's uranium production is taking off like never before. This chart shows from 2005 until right now, until just last year. And look at this, how the United States stacks up. This is jaw-dropping. I mean, this is really a stunning chart comparing China to what the United States is doing, which is nothing. Can you imagine how dumb you'd have to be to let this happen inside of Washington? Basically cede all power to China and Russia. We need all forms of hydrocarbons right now. And now is no time to be shutting anything down. Japan knows this. Aren't they supposed to be our ally? They just announced that they're going to maintain their 30% position in Russia's oil project in eastern Russia. They're not giving up. They know they need this. They need these natural gas and oil production. They see how the West is crumbling and they're restarting their own nuclear power plants. But we knew this was coming because in 2019, Biden told us that he was going to eliminate fossil fuels. He looked us right in the eyes. Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, it would be, we, would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated. So this is how societies collapse, guys. Societies are a reflection of their energy production. One energy sector insider I spoke to this week told me that people are being lied to, and it's way worse than the media is reporting. America's energy crisis is spilling over into how people live their lives. Americans are now behind on rent payments. They're living off credit cards like never before. At the end of the month, there simply isn't enough money. So credit card debt is surging. Look at the new credit card debt numbers that just came out this week. It's astonishing. Americans owe 16 trillion in credit card debt. This is a massive increase from 2021. Decreasing energy costs with natural gas and nuclear power would help so many Americans claw out of debt and be able to save money. And now the Western world is waking up. Oh shit, we need uranium. We need nuclear energy. And Putin holds the keys. You thought the Nord Stream pipeline was a big deal? Just wait until you see what Putin's about to do with uranium, which powers these plants. We can't do this on solar and wind. So some quick data points here. Russia does its own exploring for uranium. It does its own extraction of uranium. Russia does its own refinement. Russia does its own enrichment. And then it sells it to the United States. <laughs> this is insane. Putin literally holds the keys to America's energy future. There is virtually no uranium production in the United States at the moment. Let that sink in. The United States has the most nuclear reactors in the world and no uranium production. We will continue to watch these numbers, keep you updated on these energy costs. It's incredibly important, a story we've been doing here on this show for over a year now. And that's the news portion of today's video. Now, I want to tell you about our sponsor for this video. This company is called Fission 3.0, and they are a uranium producer. And if you're an investor like me, you're going to be blown away by what they just discovered. Literally no one knows about this. Industry insiders know about this, but the average retail investor has no clue about this. And their stock price could skyrocket in the next few weeks because of this. 
Now, once all of these retail investors learn about this, that's when this stock could explode. So Fission 3.0 is the name of the company. Here is their stock ticker on your screen. They just found one of the highest grade uranium deposits in the world. So get this, the day after they discovered this deposit, mining legend Eric Sprott, who we've covered on the show many, many times, he got on the phone with this company and then bought millions of dollars of shares. He's buying more as we speak right now. Now, they discovered this deposit in one of the hottest uranium spots in Canada, which is the Athabasca Basin. This will dramatically help us get away from China and Russian production of uranium. So let me explain what they just discovered. Now, normally, when a deposit is found, they would use a spectrometer, a tool that measures the radiation of uranium. It'll beep, you know, goes off, beep, 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 like, you know, Egon and Ghostbusters. And normally in Africa and Russia and other spots, it'll measure about 0.2, like 0.2. In the Athabasca Basin in Canada, normally it's about 2, not 0.2, but 2%. Not like in Russia, but 2%. So what Fission just found was a deposit that registered off the freaking charts 59.2%. That's an astonishing uranium discovery. So on this news over the past few weeks, their market cap went from $50 million to over $100 million. And now they're drilling 20 additional holes in the same spot to confirm just how big this deposit area is. Just so we're clear, this is a ground floor opportunity before this stock explodes. Here's where we are in the life cycle of a mining operation right now. They just hit pay dirt and now the real fun begins. They're actively drilling some of the highest quality uranium ever discovered. So I'm super excited about this. Again, that's why I'm super bullish on this company and I've put my money where my mouth is. So just look at these other uranium discoveries that were considered fantastic over the past few years and you can see how their new discovery compares to it. You can see how off the charts this one is. So Fission 3.0 is the third company from this mining team. The first two companies they built have been huge success stories. Again, their stock ticker is FISOF. And as of this publication, their stock is trading at 32 cents a share. They're up over 6% over the past five days. Now, when all of the masses of retra retail traders discover this news, this stock could explode. So just for some industry perspective right now, uranium prices are up 40% this year. Think of how many tens of thousands of people work in the oil and gas industry. And there are only 271 people working in the uranium industry in the United States. And we've outsourced all of it to China, Russia, and Kazakhstan. We desperately need producers like Fission 3.0 to be doing this kind of work so that we can have that energy independence. You know, now that Germany is going back to nuclear, Japan and the United States are going back to nuclear, get ready for the uranium industry to explode. In Japan, a country that saw a major disaster at the Fukushima plant because of a faulty designed reactor, they're bringing back the nuclear industry. And even Germany, which shut them down, is going back to a clean energy nuclear future. They have to. I'll have links to their website so you can do your own due diligence on Fission 3.0. Look at this new uranium discovery yourself. Go through their website. Go through the data on this. Look at the big institutional investors like Eric Sprott, who already invested millions into this company. Pay attention to their stock price. This is a small market cap company that probably won't be that small for much longer. I'll have links to their website in the description. Check them out. I'm a big believer in investing in commodities and co companies that are actually bringing these resources out of the ground. And I like getting in early before millions of other investors, retail investors, start jumping into it. So you guys are hearing about this before everyone else. We'll see you next time, everyone.